Hello and welcome to The Long View with me, John Jordan, playing Raid, uh, the game from Polarium, which is what I play at the moment. Um, and this video today is about the arena. So the arena is something I kind of um, don't really like and have to play and I'm kind of learning to try and work out really. So what is the arena? So the arena, the reason I play it is when you have your daily quests, you have to fight in the arena five times. Um, so kind of that's the only reason I play because... I have to fight in the arena five times, you don't have to win, you just have to fight five times and then you can claim your daily reward, which is kind of important um, for getting free rewards. So go to battle and we're going to go to arena um, and here we have the arena. So the arena is just is kind of like a PvP, but it's you're not actually fighting against someone in real time. It's um, asynchronous, so um, every player sets up their defence. This is my defensive team. Um, so this is what I'm playing against here. This is other players and this is their defensive team they've set up. And you just play against them. Obviously, uh, they're controlled by the AI. Um, the, the artificial intelligence of the game just kind of makes moves for them. And you could either control your players manually or just let the AI control yours as well, which is obviously faster, but sometimes not as good. So one of the things here, I know I have to play five times to get my reward. So I want to do that kind of quite quickly. I don't really want to mess around with it most of the time. Obviously, the other issue is you have the arena points. So we can see here at the top, um, I'm on actually... Uh, Kind of level one of the silver uh, uh, kind of level when it comes to arena points so um, the problem with that is if, if i lose 14 points i'm gonna be back down in bronze again <laughs> so i kind of it's one of these things where obviously what you want to do is, is choose is choose the weakest um opponents but sometimes the weakest opponents aren't the ones you think are the weakest this is the problem so um this list is kind of in some sort of order that the hardest ones are down the bottom here so if i try and battle this person we can see my team power is 66,000 and theirs is 73,000. Um, maybe I could beat them, maybe not. You have to kind of get an idea about um, kind of knowing which your char which characters your characters are good against. Um, so obviously at the top here, so we can see this this team power is 51,000 and mine's 66. So I should win. Let's see what they've got. So they've both got similar um, kind of lead characters. Um, I'm actually not sure I would beat those. We'll have a look in a minute. But this one here, this one seems obvious. They've only got three. They've only got three characters. Um, but actually, if you know if you know the game a little bit, um, even though they've only got three characters, um, these are all pretty cool characters that work well together, and um, I don't think I would beat them actually. So let's let's <laughs> let's actually do some let's actually show you how it works. So the other thing about the arena is the other players go first. So uh, I'm going to switch on also. So the other team gets to go first. So that's always an advantage for them, especially if they have a lot of um, kind of offensive power. Um, now I've put auto on, so my team are kicking in. Um, so we can see here that the Characters are just going through their different moves. They have different power-up moves depending on what they're doing. There was a heal just went on there, and you have buffs. Um, you can see the if you can see the blue above the characters is a buff, and then we've just put a debuff on there. So she's just been poisoned that character. So there we go. One of them's been killed. On the other side, how am I doing? My health's pretty looking pretty good. Um, so I just let them going on. Sometimes it's worth looking at the AI and seeing. Sometimes they do stupid things. Um, uh, so it's sometimes worth jumping in. But at the moment, we I think we're doing pretty well. Um, so let's keep going. Um, come on, uh, it's going to be a bit harder now because they've got higher level characters. So just in terms of my loadout of a team, I've got a healer there. She just did a heal. I've got um, this one here is is really attacking. Um, she, oh, so, so and she's also got bad health, so she's always the first to die pretty much. Um, but she's worth having in because she, she's really really attacking. Excuse my doorbell. Um, another support character there. Um, so we think we're going to finish this one off fairly quickly now. There we go. So first, first one won there. Um, so, so let's try another one. Let's try this one that you think you're going to win, and you're probably not going to win. <laughs> and the reason I've done this, I've said this, is because so many times you look at um, teams that are set up um, with like th less than four uh, characters, and you always think, oh, that's really easy. And then these people have set up these teams to be really strong <laughs> in defence because um, that's a bit. Uh, yeah, so we'll see. So they've got a heal. They've actually got quite a lot of healers in there. So yeah, we'll see. These are pretty high powered characters, um, and, and also the other thing you can't really see is is the gear of the characters. So if you really know what you're doing, um, you can really gear up these characters to to um, make the most of their attributes. So you see that healing's going on really quickly. Um, I think that she's a, she must be an attacker. I don't know. Should look really. Doesn't matter. Um, I might do okay if I can get rid of him, but he, he heals up again quite quickly. Okay, so maybe okay here. 
because they now haven't got a lot of firepower. Uh, she's gone as ever. <laughs> mm, but I've still, my healer is still okay. When, as long as your healer's okay, then probably the other ones are going to be okay. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Okay, we should be done now. This is where the AI is going to do something stupid, probably. Come on, AI. Oh, there we go. Good, fine. So naturally, we'll just be questioning the time. Working our way through. Because she's not got any offensive power, particularly. Even as a level 60. Level 60 is the most powerful uh, you can level up a character to. But you can see, even with that, it takes quite, <laughs> it takes quite a lot of time. Come on! There we go, right, good. So that's two of my five done. You can see I'm getting some rewards and I'm, my arena points are going up. Now let's see, I think it's gonna get a bit more tricky to work out what I wanna do. Um, so this one here, let's have a look. So it's 59, so I sh kinda should win. Um, I've got quite a good setup there. So this guy's pretty good. He's got, he uh, increases, but no, that's, so he's quite, a, uh, quite attacking that has a poison debuff. Um, she's fairly attacking as well. With a buff. Um, what does this guy do? With a... Uh, okay, so they've not actually got any, they've not got any healers in there. Actually, this is not a healer. So they've got attacker, attacker, support, and attacker. Yeah, so they've got quite a lot of attack on there. Okay, let's see how we get on. The thing is, because they get to attack first, then you're, the first thing is you're getting hit with a lot of attacks. Um, so that can be a problem. Um, the other thing to be careful here is, is my AI going to be doing the sensible thing or is it going to be randomly attacking people? So what you want your AI to do really is focus on one character and and uh, just attack them. Oh, no, I've lost see, I've lost this one, yeah, because my, my main one's down now. So this guy's obviously a pretty mean attacker. He just took her down straight away. Um, She's going to go, yeah, okay, right, that's the end of that then. And now they're focusing all on my healer, obviously. I'm not probably even going to take one of theirs down, am I? Oh, no, I'll take one down. So that was pretty quick. Because <laughs> uh, this is a support character, so she's not going to heal herself and she's not got a lot of power. Yeah, this guy's a monster. Okay, so I lost that one. You can see I went down nine points, so that wasn't very good. But I've, that's three. Now, that's three now. The other thing is, obviously, even though I've done that battle, um, you can do it again if you want to. So obviously, I could I could change my team if I wanted, or I could um, take control. So this one here, let's have a look. In fifty-five, but this, um, yeah, I'm not sure. This, these guys, they're pretty hardcore. It's a legendary one as well. So maybe the thing to do uh, if there's no any other obvious options in terms of who I want to attack, I could refresh the list. Um, now this gives me an obvious one here, so I don't know why this this person obviously isn't playing, because they've got in like <laughs> like the weakest, this is the first character you get in the game, so this is going to take about a second, there we go, so that's an easy, an easy hit. And it's interesting, you win, <laughs> you still win 10 points, even though that clearly you're going to win that, so it's not, you don't really get, the point system isn't based on how hard the opposition is, which would kind of make more sense. Now the problem is because I've refreshed the list, um, I did get that really easy one, but the other ones are not going to be quite so easy. Um, so this one may be okay because he's only a 40, only level 41. But there's this one who's a legendary attacker, so he's going to be pretty pretty cool. Um, and actually this one, these ones are going to be pretty easy to do. There's no interesting characters there. They've got those two, but I think I'll probably win this one. Let's see. So they didn't even attack me. They just did. They just. But they, they did put like a speed buff on and a attack buff on. So, but having a having a, a level thirty nine character is just not strong enough um, at this level. So it's kind of an, like an obvious sign. It doesn't really matter how strong the other characters are. Um, you need all of them to be a fairly high level. So actually, yeah, this was much easier than I thought. Come on. 
There we go. So that's my five. So that's actually pretty successful. I only lost. I won four and lost. Lost one. Is there one more to do? I'm always nervous looking at the looking at legendary characters. Who's this one? Oh my word. Yeah. I don't think I get very far with those ones. Who's who's this one? Delver. The other interesting thing with the arena is you can go through and see characters that other people have that you've never seen before. Um, that people have obviously spent a, a, quite a lot of money <laughs> building out building out their decks. Um, so I think we'll leave it there. So this is that's hopefully now I've done my fight bought in the arena five times. I've collected that. I collect that. There we go. Um, so that's the point of doing the arena. Um, the other thing is obviously when you complete when I complete uh, my weekly quests, claim the reward for for completing all daily quests five times, and then I can do all that, and then I can claim. Um, Higher level rewards, so that's kind of the reason for the arena. I think the one thing about arena is once you once you do get into it, you do become better at choosing choosing uh, what options you want to do and choosing as long as you don't, as long as you're not changing your deck all the time, you get to know who you can beat and who you can't beat. So that, that becomes it becomes a bit less painful as time goes on. But anyway, um, pretty interesting. I think I'll do some more videos about the arena. So um, don't forget to subscribe. Doing a lot of videos about uh, about raid at the moment because that's the game I'm spending all my time on. Um, if you've got any comments, please put them in the comments box. But otherwise, thanks for watching the video, and hope to see you again soon.